lineups. And for Portugal, seven changes from that 1-0 defeat against the United States. On the other side for Nigeria, four changes, but some reinforcements coming in. Asisat Oshoala, the Barcelona player. She comes in, she is the captain for this Nigerian side. And just four changes for coach Randy Waldrum and the Super Falcons. And on the bench today for either side, plenty of starters from the other day for Portugal, including Diana Silva. Gotham. And back in goal is Ines Pereira. A very valiant effort from Portugal the other night against the United States, and we are underway. Well, it was a tough night for Portugal playing that United States side. They were outshot 26 to 4. Pereira made nine saves on the night, but they only conceded that one goal. So you have to consider that a fairly decent performance. They sat deep, they defended very well. And in the end, they could not come away with anything to show for it on the night, but they put in a strong performance against the world number one in the United States. And they will be in action against fellow CONCACAF nation, Jamaica, coming up a little bit later tonight. But here we set our focus on Portugal and Nigeria to start our night from Houston, Texas. Nigeria comes into this match ranked number 38 in the FIFA rankings. Well, Portugal at 29 and Portugal 1-3 and 1 so far in 2021. This will run through for Pereira on the other side. Nigeria playing their fifth match of 2021. They are three and one. They were three and oh in the Turkish Women's Cup back in February, playing a few club teams. And now they get a chance here in the Summer Series. Show what they are made of. And of course, Nigeria will open up Q2 Stadium in Austin in just a couple of days when they take on the United States. Teams wearing a shade of green today. It's Nigeria in the dark green kits. Now Portugal's in the light green, and this is a good through ball. Oshawala plays this back. Anumana will keep this going. There's some sun on the far side of the field. But Nigeria will bring this into the area. The flag now up for offside. Nigerian player came back from the offside position. And back to Portugal it goes. But with Asisat Oshawala coming into the team today, that'll be a major boost for Randy Waldrum, one of the first players for this Nigerian side to play in Spain, and she plays for Barcelona. There are a number of players now for this Nigerian side that do play their club football in Spain. And there comes the whistle from Katia Koroleva. That's Jessica Silva who is down. A new signing from Kansas City in the NWSL. And a quick talking to here with Gloria Ogbonna. Silva just kind of tried to play dummy there, just let that run through. Didn't quite come off as she was fouled. And through that cooling spray. I'll feel pretty good on this hot day. There's a look at Francisco Neto. He's 
Been the head coach since 2014 for this Portuguese side. Led Portugal to Euro 2017, which is a competition they will not play in 2022 as they fell on aggregate 1-0 to Russia in qualifications. So they will unfortunately miss out on the next Euros, but a chance for World Cup qualification to start up this coming September for the 2023 World Cup down under. Here is Silva back on the field. Misses that touch. It'll take a moment just to get back up to speed. Well, stays in play. Albano will play it centrally now. And there comes the foul. Everybody going down. Nigeria on the front foot here in the opening four and a half minutes. The attacking threat is no doubt there for this Nigerian side with Oshawala on top with Anumanu. Portugal look up field. Gonna get it by Ogbonna. Nigeria looking to build. Oshawala will track this down. Coming in centrally looking for that long switch of play. Anumanu got a foot on it. Was able to knock it back. Here comes the game's first shot. And it's taken in by Pereira. Earning her 21st cap today is Pereira. And the shot coming in from Ajibade. This Portuguese side made up of almost all players from the Portuguese league. 16 of the 23 come from three clubs, Braga, Benfica, or Sporting Lisbon. And it was Braga who ended up winning the title this past year. Korea plays this out wide. Here's Amato. Korea again and was cut off. It'll be a throw in here for Portugal. along Silva trying to turn the corner and unsuccessful at doing so or Dega is in there defensively Silva keeps her footing now trying to turn that corner and couldn't do it this time and Ome Ebi trying to cut her off but it will be a corner kick upcoming for Portugal Francisco Neto already making friends with the fourth official. Kuchuku Alue in goal for Nigeria. This one driven in. That's the last touch on that. It'll be a goal kick. Like that was Pinto, got her head to it. Ebi in there as well. Luehi will put this back into play. Almost without a doubt, Nigeria, the best team Africa has to offer. 11-time Africa Women's Cup of Nation champions. They've won 11 of 13 of those competitions all time. The next one will take place next year. They didn't qualify for the 2021 Olympics, their last Olympics coming in 
2008, but they have made every World Cup their best finish coming in 99 right here in the United States. They made it to the quarterfinals. Also made it to the quarterfinals in 2004 in the Olympics. So a good track record for Nigeria and the Super Falcons. And the first touch put right out of play by Karnasau. Good mix of experience along with players still in their early playing years for this Portuguese side. In goal, you have Pereira, who's 22 years old. A number of players in their young 20s. And you have Carol Costa, the captain, running her 127th cap today. Bit more experience on the Nigerian side as well. This is driven towards goal. And Oluwehi makes a two-handed catch. The Nigeria muster up. It's played out wide. Romano in the middle. Trying to bring this centrally. From sunlight to shade, here comes another shot. Pereira down to her left, able to make the save. That time, Michelle Lozzi. Another look at it here. It's just poked away, but look at all that space afforded to Lozzi there at the top of the area. Lozzi played her college soccer at Yale. One of the top players in the Ivy League and then transferred to Tennessee as a graduate transfer. And some space afforded to Nazareth coming down the middle, trying to play this through. And all the way, he had to slide in and knock that away at the last moment. This game quite open. And played in behind, Oshawala was in an offside position. Left just a moment too early on the flag coming up on the far side. You can see what Asisat Oshawala has brought to this team. Here's the chance back the other way. Unfortunate deflection there. There's Alozi who just had the shot on the other end. He's a track back defensively and got the touch on it. And luckily, Oluwehi was there. Taken away by Agbana. Nigeria back in possession. Slight push in the back there. And this will be a throw in given to Portugal. There is a look at the Nigerian head coach, Randy Waldrum. He was Named the head coach last year after he actually turned the role down about three years earlier. He was in familiar stomping grounds as he was the first coach of the Houston Dash from 2014 to 2017. Current coach at University of Pittsburgh. He did win two titles with Notre Dame in the college soccer rank. So a very experienced head coach in Randy Waldrum. A corner kick coming, Tony Payne, the Sevilla player, will send this in for Nigeria. Here comes the in-swinger. Flipped along. I think the flag coming up, and yes, it was. And Ortega, who got the last touch on that. Would have been in an offside position. Good service in. And the initial header really set it up well, but yeah, you can see Ortega 
in the offside position. Good job, though, from that Portuguese back line in Alicia Carrera, who was able to step up quick enough. Brought down. Portugal trying to bring it into the area. Ebby was there just to knock it away for the moment. Portugal still on the attack. Cross coming in. Nigeria able to deal with it. Cleared all the way back downfield. All the way back to Pereira, and Portugal reset here at the back. And a big opportunity for both of these nations coming here to the Summer Series, getting a chance to take on the United States. Players, you always want to test yourself against the best, and right now it is the United States, ranked number one in the FIFA World Rankings. Oshawala looking to get in behind. Asisat Oshawala. And the shot is wide. It stays in play. And Portugal will keep this alive. Silva trying to turn and does. A heavy touch. And end the threat there by Jessica Silva. But a great opportunity going back the other way for Asisat Oshawala. He's been with Barcelona since 2019. Everybody. Trying to turn the corner on the far side. Onumanu comes centrally. And a big intervention just at the last moment. What was that touch defensively? I'm not sure. It's out for a goal kick. Another look at that chance for Oshawala. Perfectly weighted, ball in behind by Ajibade. And Oshawala just put the shot wide. Great chance for Oshawala to open the scoring. As we said, goals hard to come by the other day. Oshawala did not play in that game. Comes the throw in. All the way to the end line. Now the cross comes in. Both these teams really coming out of the gates. Firing. They are looking to get on the front foot, both these sides. Even through the intense heat today in Houston, Texas. Which a play for Silva. He will knock this forward and concede possession. Back in a good area. Nigeria will look upfield. Ajibade. Play this ahead for Payne. Onumanu on the far side. Here comes the cross. 
Deflected out, another corner kick coming for Nigeria. Yoma Anumanu, who plays in the NWSL with Gotham. Here comes the in-swinger, the out-swinger, pardon me to the penalty spot, now headed away. Zubadi will get there and just play this one back for Ogbonna. And she sends the ball forward. And the flag is now up for offside. Still in the early stages for Randy Waldrum at the helm of this Nigerian national team side. He really thinks that his team will continue to grow and expects a much improved performance here today against Portugal, and I think we've seen that so far. He said, the more time we can be together, the better we're going to be. He said, I would expect things to look improved. I'd have to say, Nigeria's been the more dangerous of the two sides. Which we're looking to change that. But defensively, Nigeria has been pretty stout. Oshawala for Anuanu. To the end line, trying to bring this back centrally. This will be cleared away. Played ahead and now played wide. Amato gets this centrally, it's an own goal. Against the run of play. Just a ball into the box and Nigeria just puts it right into their own net. Amato provided the service and Portugal can celebrate. It's one nil. Another look at this coming in. Oh, that's just a brutal touch. She knew exactly what was going to happen the moment she put her foot on it. And that's just a tough one to swallow for Okeke. So the own goal given to Chididma Okeke. Uh, 22 minutes in, it's 1 0 to Portugal. And Nigeria now being the more dangerous of the two sides in the attack, and now they'll have to try to get something going forward. Left away at the last moment. And played back now for Pereira. Just miscommunication there at the back with Okeke and Oluwehi. Oluwehi came off her line. She was just going to cut that cross off and it looked like it would have been pretty straightforward, but Okeke wasn't taking any chances. And now here comes Portugal back into the attack. And Carnassau, as it deflected out, there'll be a throw in. The 
with Denisha Blackwood's goal the other day that took down Nigeria. They did hit the post in the second half. But in the end, just not able to get the result that they were looking for. Both games played to a 1-0 scoreline the other night on Thursday. In the summer series set up by the United States, basically to mimic what the Olympics are going to look like this upcoming summer. Shibani plays this centrally, and is behind Oshawala. Amato. Still looking for those spaces. And sent in behind, looking for the run of Silva. She'll get there first. An option to drop it back, and she'll utilize it. Here comes the cross deflected towards goal. And Oluwehi is there to make the catch. Just coming in from Andrea Faria. Once again, here comes Nigeria forward and possession conceded once more. First touch by Silva. She was fouled. And she's counting how many times she's been fouled already. This will be the first half hydration break, about 26 minutes in. Talk about the warm temperatures here in Houston. Near 90 degrees. Feels like temperature is close to 100. It's a warm day here in Houston, Texas. Cold water, cold towels, whatever you gotta do to stay cool. Let's see how it affects these players come the second half. Andy Waldron just trying to bring his team together. Trying to make sure everybody is on the same page here. Trying to now chase that goal that they put in their own net on the own goal from Jadidmo Okeke. <laughs> on the other side, Francisco Neto. They just keep doing what they've been doing. They've been pretty stout defensively. They've given up a couple of shots. And of course, Pereira in the saves. Talking to Jessica Silva now. He's really the dynamic playmaker for this Portuguese side. to get back underway here in just a moment. Of course, this will add on to the stoppage time at the end of this first half. Free kick to start things off for Portugal to get us back underway. Oh, 
Amato gets it back rolling. About 17 minutes plus stoppage time now left to go in this first half. And the difference is the own goal from Chidima Okeke. get this out to that far left side. And looking for the ball in behind. Looks like that's an area of the field Portugal has been keen to find. That space in behind either fullback on the left and the right. And this one intercepted. Chance here for Portugal coming forward. Ball played through, flicked along, but the flag is up. Good move there by Portugal. Winning the ball back high up the field. A lazy pass by Nigeria. And Cornesau nearly had the second goal for Portugal. Another look at it here. Hey, that was really close. He might have been onside. But the referee with the flag up here on the near side. Very close margins there. With a 19-year-old in Carnassau. One of her ninth cap today. Just past the half hour mark. Oh, look at that pass from Jessica Silva. Showing some flair. Game number one of day number two of the 2021 Summer Series here in Houston, Texas. Portugal, Nigeria now. The United States taking on Jamaica later on tonight. Another foul right inside the center circle. Free kick to Portugal. Heavy challenge coming in. Referee letting play go on. And then she gets right back up and gets right back into the attack. Sneaky move there. And Portugal now looking forward. Here's Silva. Trying to clip this in. Deflected out. And a corner kick up coming. Ebby had the touch to put it out. Very fun to watch. Jessica Silva. This upcoming summer. And she... It's in action with Kansas City in the NWSL. Someone who spent time with Leon. Amato will play this forward. Here's Silva. Right back on the ball. And he goes right through the legs of the defender. Okay, okay, and this will be a free kick. Look at that skill from Jessica Silva. Well, excuse me. I'm gonna try to go right around you, get that foul, and a free kick. Andrea Jacinto will send this in. Sinto will drive this in back post. A beautiful finish and a beautiful set piece. It doubles the lead for Portugal, and it's the captain who gets the goal, Carol Costa. Very well worked there by Portugal. 
and Costa was all alone on the back post. That's an easy finish on the volley. And the service was perfect from Jacinto. For Carol Costa, that is her 11th international goal coming in cap number 127. 31 year old who plays her club football for Benfica. And Francisco Neto has to very much enjoy that. As Nigeria now trying to recollect themselves in the final 11 minutes before halftime. How does Nigeria respond with all of that, of that attacking talent? It's not quite gone according to plan so far. It's the early parts of this game are really dominated by the Super Falcons. There's the switch of play. Amato. to play this ahead for Silva. And this will trickle out of play by Ebi. And a goal kick coming here for Nigeria. Shawala will get this out wide. Ogbana. Trying to play the head for Ortega. This will pinned in here for the moment. They look to find the space. Ebi steps in to intercept. Zibade on the turn. He gains her footing. Taken off the ball. Portugal trying to come up field. There's the foul. That's the first one that wasn't called a foul, but the referee Katya Koroleva right on top of it. Shawala able to keep it for Nigeria. And tracking back defensively was Faria to win it back for Portugal. I feel like this Portugal side had something to prove coming into this game today after it really held strong as here comes the shot. And this is well out of play by Ajibade. Fans starting to trickle in. Should be a pretty good crowd here at BBVA Stadium. It was a great crowd the other day. Final match or match day here in Houston. Before they move on to Austin, they'll open up Q2 Stadium in Austin, Texas. Later on this week, that'll be a fun night in ATX, that was a fun city. Silva. It's 
Silva doing the work defensively. Faria able to look upfield. Trying to play this in behind, and Karnasau. Last ditch tackle coming in by Nome Ebi. And finding the space for Oshawala. Onumanu's in the middle. Oshawala stays on the ball and brings it centrally. Payne gets it out wide. To the end line, the cross. And went out of play before that final ball. And it looks like it'll be a corner kick coming for Nigeria. Tony Payne standing over it. Here comes the ball driven in towards the penalty spot. It opened up for Ajibade. The Atletico Madrid player just couldn't put it on frame. Played it short, and then the ball was driven in. Right over the head of Alozi. We're into the final five minutes plus stoppage time before the end of this first half. Correa to throw this back in. Comes for Silva. There's nobody there defensively. Silva, the touch around the keeper, but the shot in the side netting. I think she was so surprised that she was in that much open space. It took her a moment to realize. Here's another look at it. It all comes from a throw in. Silva's calling for it. And she is kept on side by the defender on the far side. The two central defenders stepped up. She would have been offside if not. With the Nigerian right back. But Silva couldn't find the finish. So some warning signs here for Nigeria. As they have looked pretty good in the attack. But ever since the own goal, things have really changed for the Super Falcons. Nigeria for it again. Right out to the far side. Everybody was calling for it. Deflected cross and corner kick. Ortega winning that. Alicia Correa putting in the hard work defensively. Great chance opened up on the last corner kick for Nigeria. What can they muster up here? To the end line. Here comes the cross. It's blocked down. Another cross right in front and in. Michelle Alozi for Nigeria pulls one back. 
You felt it coming for the Super Falcons. They were knocking on the door and finally they burst it down. And here it is again. It was the first cross that was blocked down right there. Then on the follow-up, oh, look at that assist. Beautiful assist from Rita Chikwelu. Outside of the left foot, right into the path of Belosi, who was in the right place at the right time. And the Houston Dash practice player is able to score a goal in her club team's own stadium. And here comes Nigeria again. They want to bring this back level. Good hesitation. Here comes the cross. It's stabbed away. Entertaining first 45 minutes. It started off very open and was going back and forth. There's a bit of a lull there towards the hydration break. I think both teams were getting a bit tired, but that hydration break has brought things back to life. As Portugal has found two goals in this first half, and Nigeria just able to pull that one back. It'll be two minutes of stoppage time at the end of this first 45 minutes. Ball played in behind again. And this communication between the back line and the goalkeeper again. And a player down here for Nigeria. So the way he came way off her line. It is again. All the way he just colliding with Anome Ebi. And this will be a corner kick awarded to Portugal. And it'll be an interesting team talk from that man there, Randy Waldrum. Comes the corner kick. Moved into the six and cleared away. Chance for Nigeria to counter midway through the minimum of two. Six subs are allowed, plus two concussion substitutions. I'm sure we'll see some alterations come the second 45 minutes. Coming back and driving this in. Headed away by Ogbonna. Zubadi stepping in defensively, and Portugal comes away with it. Nazareth cutting in field. Playing this back, and that'll bring us to halftime. Well, an entertaining first 45 minutes. Both these teams coming off 1-0 defeats on Thursday night. But both these teams going for the win here this afternoon. An own goal. The 24-year-old defender has come on, and the second half is underway as Katja Korleva blows her whistle. It looks like a couple of subs have come on here for Nigeria. Zog is one of them. And Rio, or pardon me, Okoronkwo is the other one. A pretty cool moment for Esther Okoronkwo, who played her college soccer at Lamar and is from Richmond, Texas. Getting to play in her home state tonight for her national team.
Portugal who had the lion's share of possession in the first 45 minutes and starting out the same way here in this second. So there are the substitutes. Bona is off along with Fioma Anumanu. Okorakwo has come on for Nigeria. There is Okeke who scored the own goal that got the scoring started on the night. Portugal has yet to make a substitution, just those two halftime subs coming for Nigeria. Cutting in field is Alozi. Find that space for Alozi. The first touch comes from Ortega instead. And immediately they concede possession. There's a missed touch. This is played through. Portugal looking to extend their lead, and they do. Telma and Carnesau able to put it by Oluwehi, and Portugal have a 3-1 lead. Another bad giveaway there at the back, and that was the substitute who just came on. Salome Zog gives it away, and Portugal makes her pay right away, and the assist coming from Andrea Jacinto. For Telma and Carnesau, that is her first international goal, coming in cap number nine. And you can see the emotion on her face right away. She knows how exciting of a moment that will be, one that you will always remember. Another giveaway and another opportunity for Portugal. This time the shot is off target. This is almost kept in play. It'll be thrown instead for Nigeria. The other night, both these teams held scoreless, but the goals have really been flowing tonight. 3-1, now five minutes into this second half. Played ahead, Silva, a couple of step overs. Jessica Silva gets this centrally. Collision in the box, referee says play on. Looked like Silva was going to take that herself. She knew the unselfish play to keep it moving. And now a chance for Nigeria back the other way. Ajibade squares this ball, and Nigeria pulls one back. End to end action, it's 3-2. A penalty shout on one end, and you come back the other way, and Nigeria make it 3-2. Here's another look at it. Nigeria's love to get to that end line and then find the square ball. Did Oshawala get the last touch on that? 
Or was that an own goal? Another look at it here. Ajibani just getting to the end line. And squaring this ball, looking for Oshawala. I think that's an own goal. Nonetheless, it's 3-2. That's Kelma and Karnasau who's down. Back to her feet, making a slow walk off. Everybody has been a bright spot tonight for Nigeria, but all of a sudden it's a one goal margin again. It's flipped over the top again, and Pereira be able to control it this time. Hug of the jersey and referee Katya Korolev responded it. A little whistle for the foul. Whole host of subs ready to come on for Francisco Neto and Portugal. As this is played out to that right side. A couple of step overs by Silva. Always looking to provide some flair on the ball. Here are some style points as this is flicked ahead. Chance for Portugal to make it 4 2, and the shot is out of play. Telma again. She looks like she's holding on to that left hamstring a little bit. Wonder that's what bothered her a moment ago. Another great opportunity. Here's another look at that goal. And let's see if we can spot who got the final touch on it. Like 19. Diana Gomez. what officially is awarded to it. In the end, it doesn't ultimately matter. It's either going to Oshawala or it's going to be an own goal. I get these things right, though. Sent back for Pereira. More pressure being put on by Nigeria. Just bounces out of play. See the subs waiting. Telma again. The last ditch touch there by Alozi. And she's staying down. Yeah, this is the part of the game where the cramps could really start to come in. Talking with former players who have actually played in Houston, they say a little packet of mustard can actually help. So we'll see if any of the players pull out the mustard in this second half. And here come the subs. Norton coming on for Jacinto. That's one of the subs. The other sub will be Pinto coming on for Pinto. <laughs> That's Tatiana coming on for Fatima. This will be Dolores Silva coming on for Andrea Faria. And the last one will be Diana Silva coming on for Telma and Karnasau. So it's 
Norton, Silva, Silva, and Pinto on. Conasau, Faria, Fatima Pinto, and Andrea Jacinto all coming out, and there is still a player down on the other end for Nigeria. Tsunome Ebi, just trying to stretch out. I told her that. And yep, that'll be the sub as Ebi is coming off. It'll be Nicole Payne coming on. And the third sub of the night coming here for Nigeria. Nicole Payne, another college player. She plays her college soccer at West Virginia. down. So a whole host of new players coming on. We'll see how that affects the game. Should probably bring some energy to this final half hour or so. It's been a very fun opening 58 minutes. Five goals to show for it. Can't complain about that unless you're a defender. Didn't know KK getting back to her feet. We'll just play this back for Oluehi and Goal. Upfield. There's the through ball again. Option in the middle and a big challenge coming in. Alozi went to ground. Oh, and then the nutmeg. Look at this. Portugal trying to build up to this goal. Silva on the turn. It's saved. Oh, tremendous skill from Francisca Nazareth. And Silva forcing the save out of Oluehi. Alozi got the first laugh. And Nazareth got the second. And Silva just tried to turn. And the shot was saved. Nicole Payne there in defense. And a corner kick coming for Portugal. Portugal not lacking flair tonight. Driven in, the header at the near post is out of play, and it'll be a goal kick just past the hour mark. If you're just joining us, where have you been? Plenty of goals to go around. It was 2-1 at halftime in favor of Portugal. And a goal for either side here in this second half.
taken away in the middle. Nigeria trying to keep possession here. Played down the right. And it's here for Nigeria, cutting in field. Here comes the shot, it's blocked down. Ronquo, one of her first touches since coming on a few moments ago. And here comes the corner. Driven in, Pereira trying to get up to it. Might have gotten a touch on it, but it stays here with Nigeria. Now the heavy touch will put it out of play. Waldrum, quite a bit to think about, but still a chance for his side to get a result tonight ahead of the match later this week against the United States. That'll be in Austin, opening up Q2 Stadium. Here comes Portugal again on the attack. A good turn, Nazareth, and now the shot coming from behind. Great opportunity. It's Tatiana Pinto just came on. One goal to her name in international play. All coming down that right side, Nazareth has really provided some great skill. I think she wanted to finish that off, but it's set up nicely for Pinto. Just couldn't find the finish. Comes an early ball through. And it'll keep rolling through. Ortega, she keep this in play? She can, but she concedes possession in doing so. Costa playing this ahead. Silva was holding her run. And Luehi will just knock this back downfield. A player down at the moment here for Nigeria, right at midfield. It looks like that's the captain, Oshawala. Important player to this Nigerian side. Somebody who they absolutely would want. <laughs> and a teammate came over and spilled a bunch of cold water right on her face. I don't think she appreciates that. Now Randy Waldrum might have to turn to his bench again. Looked like that was Bokiri warming up. Ashi body seems to be wanting to pour water on everybody right now. She's trying to stay cool. It's a warm night in Houston. Conference time in the Nigerian technical area.
Shuala back on her feet. And it looks like Nigeria is going to make that sub. Shawala doesn't look like she'll be able to continue tonight. That is a shame. She has been a very dynamic player tonight for Nigeria. For well, Nigeria, hope that she is healthy. Hopefully she is healthy for Wednesday's game. It looks like that'll be the sub. The Anu Juwan Ikechukwu. The 23 year old Ikechukwu. Just about set to come on. Oshawala will take a seat. That'll be the fourth sub of the night for Nigeria. Entertaining game this has been so far. So much skill shown on this field. Hopefully these teams save some for the second game coming up. There's a long ball over the top. To be brought in on the far side. Options to choose from in the middle. Played right back, little give and go. Box to the top of the box, it was knocked away. Portugal will keep it. Correa. And here's Silva. Oh, another nutmeg. They just keep on coming. Portugal showing the flair tonight. And here is that sub now confirmed. Leandro Juan, Nikachukwu. Here comes the corner kick now, Dolores Silva. Here it comes, it's headed away, right at the top of the six yard box, and then just put straight out. Throw in coming for Portugal with 20 minutes to go. Hydration break and getting word that Asisat Oshawala actually arrived from Spain this morning and getting right onto the field. And there's some dedication there. And hopefully she is healthy enough to be able to play again on Wednesday. Otherwise, comes over for about 70 or so minutes. Looks like Nigeria could be preparing a couple of more subs coming up here in the next few minutes. Francisco Neto, the coach's team to hold on to this advantage at 3-2. This Portuguese side missing out on the 2022 Euros, but they did qualify in 2017. That was their first qualification to a major tournament. And they'll start World Cup qualification during the upcoming September FIFA window. 
the men's side, it was their World Cup qualification was affected because of the pandemic, but should go off. Pretty much perfect timing now for UEFA as they get started for 2023. The hydration break, we are back underway. And Nigeria coming forward, looking for that equalizer. Now cutting back in field. Looking for the switch of play. This will run all the way into the corner. And Ortega will track this down. And with her back to goal, now the ball comes centrally. Chikwelu keeps it moving. Ortega's cross right at Pereira. And she made a catch through traffic. A body flying right in front of her, and that's a collision that will force Katya Korleva to stop play. Oh, that is brave goalkeeping from Ines Pereira. And both sets of training staffs now coming on. This Nigerian player just flew right in front, putting her body on the line. Card issued to Rashida Ajibade. First one of the match. You can hear the spray and you see the thumbs up from the training staff. That is good news. Here's another look at it. Cross came in. I think she was in an offside position, but that was a very high boot. Look at this. He was going for that ball, of course, but making contact at the same time with Pereira. I'm sure I'll be feeling that one in the morning. Be in still a bit of pain, but she will carry on with 15 minutes to go. Chikwelu trying to play that ahead. And had the pass cut off. Another sliding challenge. Silva will keep this in play, or at least she thought. Diego is now wearing the captain's armband after Oshawala went off. There's a heavy challenge in the middle. And a free kick. Diana Silva, the Aston Villa player, getting caught up at the start the other day against the United States and coming off the bench today for Francisco Neto. Running her 66th cap. So 
A couple of players on the bench for Portugal, and if they come on today, be their first caps. Three players. We'll see if they get into the fray tonight. Mosey loses out. This will be a Nigerian throw. Lozzi going to drive this one in, a header. But Ford still in there. Chance to keep this alive for Nigeria to the end line. And they'll trickle out for a goal kick. Portugal is unable to clear it there at the moment. With 12 minutes to go here from BBVA Stadium. A 3-2 advantage for Portugal. The United States taking on Jamaica coming up next. There's about an 18 minute delay due to weather at the beginning of this game. Warm ups were pushed back, but I think it should be a go for the second game of the night. Not many of these fans in the stadium came to see, although there's a good contingent of Nigerian fans in the crowd. Oh, and it looked like that was a clean challenge. Sounds like another sub readying now for Portugal. Looks like they'll take this free kick before the sub. Comes the free kick. Still in there at the top of the box. Shot is blocked down. Silva tries to find some space. It's Nazareth now. With all those green jerseys tracking back defensively. Pinto plays this out wide. And now Portugal can settle things in the middle. Norton trying to play this through. Silva couldn't get there. Good challenge coming in by Aliozzi. Here's Norton, and a free kick. Everybody pleading with Katya Koroleva that she got the ball. It'll be a free kick, and there is that sub. It'll be Melissa Gomez coming on. And Francisca Nazareth will make way. We'll talk about skill on the field tonight. Francisca Nazareth provided plenty of it. Also a sub coming for Nigeria. So that'll be Francisco Ortega coming off. And Gift Monday will come on, the 19-year-old. Here comes the in-swinger on the free kick. Good service in. Zibani keeps this alive. Only for the moment, maybe an appeal for handball there. Referee says play on. Portugal is trying to take the sting out of this game at the moment. They had the possession battle at halftime, 60-40. It's been pretty similar here in this second half. It was a good start from Nigeria. They really came out on the front foot, putting pressure on this Portuguese back line. But the own goal started the scoring, got Portugal ahead 1-0. Then it was a 2-0 advantage, followed by a 2-1. 
Then up to 3-1 and now at 3-2. Portugal's been leading pretty much the whole way. This will be another sub. Rita Chiquelu will make way. Joy Bokirdi coming on. That should be the final sub of the night for Nigeria with seven minutes to go. Portugal still has one more available of the six. And then two concussion substitutes if needed. Is there another goal in this game? There's a giveaway. Got a good defending there, Lisa Correa. Played into the corner. Losey will not keep this in play. The AR right on top of that. And the throw in for Portugal. And Andy Waldrum knows time running thin on his Super Falcon side. Way up into the air. To go back to Portugal with five minutes to play. Portugal doing what they need to do to see this one out. Trying to find the space. It's Gomez just. Plays this ahead, foot race for it now. Gomez gonna get there again. Gomez cutting in field. And the referee will, looks like, bring this one back. This will be a free kick to Portugal. Once again, it will be Dolores Silva to stand over it. Here comes the free kick, and this will bounce towards Oluwehi in goal. Four minutes to go, Nigeria chasing a goal. And Ibane commits the foul. You feel like Portugal may be done enough to earn the win tonight. Don't tell that to Nigeria. There have been chances, plenty of chances for both sides. Halftime, the shots were locked even at seven. The second half has been very similar to the first. Kane trying to knock that forward for Nigeria. And Silva has just been out on the flank, just hanging on by a thread in an onside position, trying to time her runs perfectly. And she is again going to ground. 
She'll be a fun player to watch with Kansas City in the NWSL. Kansas City looking to climb those standings as play resumes next weekend. Here's Silva. Playing this out wide for Gomez. Cut off. Silva again, still going. In behind, flag up. That will not count. Deanna Silva. Just leaving a little bit too early. There's another look at it. Silva just leaving a little bit too early. And one more sub coming for Portugal. Joana Marchau will replace Jessica Silva. The next time many of you see Silva, it will be wearing a Kansas City kit. And Marchau is on. On her 16th cap, the 24-year-old. Here comes Portugal trying to ice this one in the final minute of regular time. Cross comes in from Marshauer, first touch on the field. Pulls it right to Oluehi. Forget coming up after this game, the United States against Jamaica. They wrap up this Sunday in Houston before the Summer Series moves on to Austin on Wednesday. Six minutes of added time at the end of this 90 minutes. Doing a hydration break and a couple players going down injured. Weaving in and out and finding the space. Bring this over the top. Alozi will not get there. And out for a goal kick. plan was tonight for Asisat Oshawala, but her going off injured I don't think was part of it for Randy Waldrum. Such an important player to this Nigerian side. A big challenge coming in and won by Bokiri. Right now Nigeria just chasing the ball. the way he will distribute. Right down the line. Deflecting out of play. Throw in Nigeria with four minutes to go. It's 
one will be a goal kick. And I'm sure Portugal will take its time. Play by Pereira. Nigeria trying to muster up a couple more attacks. Midway through the minimum of six. Zibade. Alozi. Both players ended up on the ground there. Lozi gets up first. Cross comes in. It's stabbed away. It's still in there. Ashibadi curls. It's off the crossbar. And the putback is out of play. The second time in as many games, Nigeria has hit the crossbar. Lozi the other night, and Ashibadi here tonight. And it all started on the cross from Lozi. The first time shot, and it wasn't too far away. You know, I think Pereira might have had that if it had not hit the crossbar, if it was a bit lower. And right towards the center of the goal. Beautiful curling effort, though, from Ajibade. And it's out for a corner kick. Monday gets in the way. Chance for Nigeria, there's the equalizer! The Super Falcons, it's Aji Bade hitting the crossbar moments ago and finding an equalizer for Nigeria. Rashida Aji Bade, the 21 year old. And it gives the Nigerian fans something to celebrate tonight. What a game this has been. Look at the giveaway. Gift Monday got in there, and then there was the assist. Tony Payne providing the service into the middle. And Ajibadi just sticking her right foot out there and able to redirect it, but give a lot of credit to Gift Monday. She tracked back defensively and was able to win it back. And Portugal and Nigeria locked at three, late in stoppage time. And what an ending this has been. An exciting game throughout. The Atletico Madrid player, Rachida Ajibade. Able to salvage. A result tonight, and for Portugal, that's a tough one to swallow. Nigeria has really been knocking on the door, though, in these past few minutes, asking quite a few questions of Portugal. And finally, Nigeria is able to find the goal they so desired. And through the six minutes, and there's the final whistle. What an enjoyable game of football this was. And it wraps up the first of two games on this Sunday evening from Houston.